Yeah, and the way that Rangers set up last night, I was very impressed. They were on the front foot. They they pressed them high up the pitch, and they looked dangerous every time they went forward. Rob, um, you can look at Dortmund. I thought defensively they looked suspect. You can see why they've conceded the right few goals this season in the Bundesliga. So, look, Rangers are going confident, no overconfident, but confident they can get a goal or two um, at Ibrox next Thursday. It's a big fillip for Scottish football as well, Mark, isn't it? Yeah. To to go in against one of the big guns. They are a big gun. They're one of the yeah. favourites to win that competition. Yep. Second only to Bayern in the Bundesliga. So to win, not just to win, but to score four goals in the yeah. Westfalen is remarkable. Uh, and and the, and the coefficient does matter, doesn't it? Because it affects where we go into qualifiers to, to try and do same again. Any victory is welcome for 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 any Scottish team in Europe, the national team um, as well. And you know, like Barry said, that my, my hope for Rangers was that they just kept it alive. You know, I think even if it's a three-one, you know, <laughs> defeat that is mm. it, it keeps it alive. I didn't expect Rangers to win last night. I'll be totally honest. I probably didn't expect them. Um, to get a draw even Haaland playing or not playing so to come away with a, a victory like that but the manner of the performance well we won't talk about Rangers clinging on here or, or, or getting four fluky goals or getting absolutely battered by Dortmund they managed the game supremely well from Alan McGregor right up to to, uh, to Alfredo Morelos um, up top I thought Borna Barisic as well considering the nightmare he had against Celtic to come and put in a performance like that too so everything clicked um, last night uh, for Rangers and I was stunned absolutely stunned at the result and the mm. level of performance to do that in Dortmund against a Dortmund team um, of that quality was just a different class and I do now expect Rangers to go on uh, and finish the job I'm not saying they're going to win at Ibrox but Dortmund very rarely have a clean sheet in them so you're right I would expect Rangers to score so can Dortmund go to Ibrox and score 3 or 4 yes they can of course they can will they do it no, I don't think they will. I think Rangers will go through. When you're disappointed at uh, Dortmund scoring a second goal in the game to make it 4-2, it's a surefire sign that it's been a great night. It's the best night, obviously, uh, so far for Giovanni van Bronckhorst. Yeah, that, that put a bit of a dampener on it, if I'm being honest, with, with Dortmund getting that, that second goal. I don't think MD could, especially Alan McGregor, couldn't do anything about it. It was an unbelievable strike. Um, but listen... If you say to me before the game that Rangers would have, would have went to Dortmund and come away winning 4-2, I would have looked at you in a strange way. Um, mm. But all credit, you've got to give Gio credit. I think the lineup probably surprised a few people as well. With Ryan Jack and Lundstrom playing, people may have looked and think, oh, right, he'll bring in an R holder and, and Glenn Kamara. Um, but listen, I, I thought to a man they were exceptional and they thoroughly deserved it. And I really enjoyed the game. I was, again, I was taken aback with surprise at the at the result but at the end of the day looking back over the game there was no doubt that Rangers deserved um, the win and they've got to now take a lot of confidence uh, out of that um, going into the, the games ahead because they've still obviously got to try and achieve winning the, the league title retaining that and also you've got the, the return leg of, of Dortmund coming next Thursday Tell Alexa to launch Go Radio or listen on the Go Radio app